This morning, new research is zeroing in on the potential root of the rise in colon cancer in young adults, and it dates back to childhood. Now, according to this study by researchers at the University of California, San Diego, a toxin in your gut produced by certain strains of E. coli could be the culprit here, growing in your system during the first 10 years of life. For more, I'm now joined by oncologist Dr. Thomas Marin. Um, Dr. Marin, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. Thank you. Yeah, this study really caught our eye. Um, okay, so again, researchers say this starts within the first 10 years of life. How are children exposed uh, to this bacteria? I mean, you hear E. coli, is it food poisoning? That's what most people hear E. coli and they think about beef and contaminated spinach, but we have tons of normal healthy E. coli living in our intestines. And this is what we call our microbiome. Those bacteria are very important, not only in helping us digest food, but also they really set the immune phenotype, the, the sort of immune landscape in our body from the get-go, from when we're children. We actually initially get our microbiome from our mother when we were breastfeeding, and then it grows from there. And our microbiome is uh, really dictated by what we're exposed to. So foods and antibiotics are probably the two most important things along with where we live and the people that we're around. And it really suggests that potentially we're being exposed to a specific strain of E. coli that might be making something called colobactin that might be very early on causing mutations, changes in our intestines that could set us up for very early colon cancer. Yeah. You know, we we're seeing more and more colon cancer in our patients who are 30 and 40, but we know that colon cancer develops over the course of decades. And so it's not surprising that all of a sudden we're finding some evidence that exposure when we're five or six years old might be part of this. Yeah, I mean, the, the new numbers, the ages are just, are just staggering. Still unknown whether this bacteria is the main driver of these cancer rates or just one factor amongst many. What are your thoughts there and what other drivers of the disease are out there? So there's a lot of different factors. It's not just one thing. We know that genetics play a role. There's certain people who are more, you know, predisposed to getting cancer early on in life. Um, but I think that the two things that really jump out at me that have really changed over the past decades is the increased use of processed foods, which we know does change the mycobacterium, the, the bacterial that's sitting in your gut, um, but also the overuse of antibiotics. You know, most of us, when we go to the doctor and we're not feeling well, we want that doctor to write us a prescription for antibiotics. We know that most of the time that's not really going to do anything, and this is more evidence that that might actually be causing problems very early on that can really have long-lasting effects. So what can you do as a young person to stay ahead of this? I mean, can you get tested for traces of, of this toxin in your system? So interestingly, the study actually showed that the toxin's not even there later on in life. So by the time you're 20 or 30, it's already gone, but the impact might have occurred when you were five or six years old. The, the study is super important in that it does offer a potential way that we might be able to screen young people for colon cancer. You know, we don't want every 20 and 30 year old getting colonoscopies all the time. It's not a particularly pleasant activity. This might sort of set us up for a new test where we would be able to check younger people and see if they are predisposed to getting colon cancer. Um, and then and, you know, be more aggressive with screening for them. But I think the, the most important thing is really, you know, we don't know exactly how to avoid it at this point, but try to limit the use of antibiotics. And really, when we're thinking about diet, we, we know that processed foods are not good for our gut. And so really trying to eat more naturally. Yeah. And then what is your guidance when it comes to colonoscopies? At what age and should we start doing those regularly? Uh, and how frequently should we be getting them? So our recommendations have changed recently given this early incidence of colon cancer. And so we're really encouraging everyone starting at age 45 to talk to their primary care doctor and set up a colonoscopy or other colon cancer screening. But anybody who is having any blood in their stool, anyone who's having bowel movements that are just not looking normal, it's really important to address this early on with your primary care doctor because that might be an early harbinger of something bad that's stewing in the, in the bowels. Yeah, um, consult your doctor, always be your best advocate. Uh, Dr. Thomas Marin, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.